welcome. So Great. she got me this. Geisha. Legit Geisha from Panama. So we're gonna brew, it's supposed to be like, it's one cup only. Wow, so special. And then you have to use distilled water. They always say like use distilled water and then I say, it's so hot, I'm lazy. So this is a thing from Clatch and it's literally right up the way from us, which is really nice. So it comes to you like this. So Geisha is supposed to be the best coffee, super special. Um, I don't know what makes it so special. It's a natural process, anaerobic, slow dry, a process generally used with wine and it's the first place geisha natural process. So natural meaning it's gonna be more brighter, it's gonna have more nuance. And yeah, let's just see what happens. This is a limited release special and they have instructions right here. So I'm gonna read it. And they have one serving here. I don't know what this little bit of coffee is. Instructions it will say. Uh-huh. But this is my first impression. Let me give you this third wave water. Wow. Like when I do my research and stuff, like um, you're not supposed to use, uh, what do you call this osmosis? Reverse osmosis water, because it's like, it's too clean. <laughs> so you have to end up putting minerals back in the water. So cafes will do this. All right, here's the instructions. Coffee recipe, you're using 18 grams of coffee. Uh, 240 milliliters illegal water. Oh, we're gonna need our scale. And we're heating to 204. Okay, 204 on our thing. Our gym forever smells like coffee now. <laughs> we don't have a Kalito 155. I guess that's their brewer. Start heating your illegal water to 244. I guess I was supposed to put this in here. Oh yeah. Uh you may use your favorite normal water to make this coffee, but with coffee being over 90% water, we want you to enjoy the best water with the best coffee. God damn. So I have included the third wave coffee water packet with these instructions. You'll need two one gallon distilled water. Purchase two one gallon jugs of distilled water from your local market. Add third wave water packet to one of the distilled water jugs. Oh, this water jug will now have approximately 210 parts per million minerals. Combine 50% of your jug with the 50% of your fully distilled jug to create water approximately 105 parts per million of minerals. Use your 105 parts per million water as third wave water. Jesus. So you have the other jug, you can start fresh now. Okay. <laughs> you know it's special when you spend 10 minutes and you haven't touched your coffee yet. <laughs> All right. And that's why you, they wanted you to do. Yep. So now this right here, this solution is two, uh, no, 105 parts per million water. It's third wave water. Uh, never had third wave water before. All right. All right. Better All right. Be better than Icelandic water. <sighs> okay. Place filter. Okay. I guess we're gonna do it just like pour over. Shoop. Okay, start your timer. Okay, wait. Uh oh, I'm gonna need a timer. Um, rinse filter with hot water. Okay, now we heat it up. Now we put this water. So this can be used as coffee water for the next, until we finish it. Now we heat this up. Maybe I should, I'll mark that one later. That's just regular water. Regular distilled. Now we need it to 204. I wonder why I oh, like to match this. I see. To match it. To match what? Match this grind. So they say uh, grind coffee, medium grind, add ground coffee to filter. So I'm gonna match this grind. So we're gonna use some testings to make sure. Okay. 
crispy. So I'm on medium already. I think that's good. That's too short. This is the this is Black City coffee. Black City, you make good coffee. Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay, cool. Check this out. Special. Hey, these are like holiday style. It's just a sticker. This is 18 grams of Elita Estate Panama Geisha. So fancy. Even there's one way though. Whoa. Smell it first. Mm. This, this oh wow, what does it smell like? This is way different smell it though. <laughs> How it's fruity. like fruity. Whoa! Okay, cool. Let's check it out. 18 grams. Beautiful. Ready? I should take a picture of the beans. Damn it! Whoa! It's like intensely oh. fruit. Whoa. Mmm. That first sniff was intense. Mmm. I've never smelled anything wow, like that. Wow, it's very fruity. It's like very cherry. Yeah, cherries. Mm. Wow. It's different. Very different. It's beautiful. You look at the grounds. Yeah. They look very light colored. But it's that's, very light. That's the natural process. It looks... Just like pour over. seconds or slow spiral motion okay until 240 this is pour over some technical way very fresh
And at 240, we're done with the process. Very cool. I haven't technically done that since the Yorba house. berries. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's give it a whirl. <gasps> wow. Wow. Different. describing it. All right, so it's very bright, a lot of cherry, a lot of fruit forward. If it's made with wine, it does have like a tannin quality to it. Mm. It's like a um, cider or some apple. It smells a little bit like vinegar. It's super bright, but not tart, which is cool. Mm. You know, it rounds off, like it comes in the, in the palette, like really bright, fruit forward. And then immediately on the mid palette, it starts to round off and gain some body. And then it becomes very sweet. So it doesn't linger too long in the fruit in my palate anyway. Here, give this a shot. Nice, you sure? Yeah, a nice aerated. Oh, the color when you send it to me, it's it's like. Nice aerated slip. Through, through our eyes, I see like a velvet red. Really? Yeah, if you look, stand here. Uh-huh. The color of it, the camera can't distinguish it, but it looks like wine. Hmm. It doesn't look like a light roast though. It's like yeah, a really rinse. good mix. It's definitely different. So it's it's a different brightness than an African coffee. Um, I feel like, well, maybe it could be my, my own technique, of course, but um, it's nice that the, the sweetness comes in the mid palette and then finishes very balanced. It's super tasty. Like this is some cherry, yeah, blueberries, blueberries. Morning, yeah, a lot of blueberry, but more cherry. I feel like African always tastes blueberry or lemon. It's a different kind of citrus. There's a tart tanniny thing to it. Yeah. Wow, oh, it's smooth, but it's like wine, but without the alcohol. <laughs> It's good. It's super tasty. I like it. It's interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. And it's like thick, but it's like full body. It's like a nice syrupy body. Yeah. Which is so weird with the tart, like with the, the citrus wine. kind of thing. 
Yeah, it's like, yeah, there's a citrus in there. But that's from the grapes. It's probably from the grapes. It's like an apple pie, almost. It was, it's, it's like different. like a Granny Smith apple pie, almost. That's so crazy, it's weird. Yeah. It's weird, I like it. <laughs> Thank well, you, man. Yeah, cool happy again. birthday. What the heck? Oh. Look at this. All the experience here. So this, okay, so this coffee is the world record highest priced and highest scoring coffee ever. 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 Like ever. Like what the heck? <laughs> so in Panama, uh, they've got some, and their terroir is like volcanic soils, virgin forests, um, mountain ranges. They even said the clutch coffee experience in front. Well, I think it's a cool little, you know, clash coming together with this farm. Yeah. And you read a little bit on this farm already. Like yeah. They're so esteemed and they've they've been so trying to just nail their anaerobic, slow, dry, natural process of this coffee. Um, yeah, I was going to hit on that as well. Yeah. Natural coffees are like, I knew I always wanted to roast natural coffee because I knew it's going to give me more of those flavors that I personally like. But... Um, I've been only dealing with washed coffees because, you know, I'm limited from my machine before and uh, just my experience. But I think the next step will be going into more natural processed stuff or even honey process and things like that. So cool. That was a really cool experience. Thanks for sharing with me on my little birthday gift. Um, check this thing out. Go to Clutch Coffee. She knows all the things. Yeah. She will tell me later. <laughs> I thought this is so cool. We that have they... to wait till next year, actually. Yeah, so it's basically <laughs> out of season. Before, probably just before, or around summer, or just before summer, I was seeing a lot of geisha, like, in cafes, and then even to buy and stuff. And I was like, I don't know. Let me build, try to build my palette up first so I could appreciate it or whatever. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I think it's just out of season right now. And it only grows in Panama, right? It's like, that's the legit geisha. <laughs> so all that crap that you're getting at Trader Joe's is not for reals. Um, what else? Yeah, if it's not coming from Panama, it's not real. Oh, there's one in Guatemala too, right? Yeah. I forget. But It's yeah. only Panama at like those Latin American countries. Yeah. All right. Enjoy. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time here at Black City Coffee. Bye. <laughs> cool.